Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How how are you today? It's Friday. How are you doing? Good day today? Bad day today? Ready for the weekend? I'm ready for the weekend. Uh, today was uh, today, today is Friend Friday. I'm not going to say it's not Friend Friday, but I, I thought I had way more stuff saved up than I do, so I'm going to cut this kind of quick, short video today. But it's okay, because I really have a lot that I need to get done, <laughs> uh, because my Nintendo has been taking up my time lately. So... Quite a bit going on uh, off camera, but that's okay. Uh, so uh, today, t so this show. All right, I'm I'm good now. My brain's working again. Uh, this show is the uh, is the Sam show. <laughs> if you guys, uh, I have two things from Sam that I wanted to show you, um, or at least talk about. Uh, so I guess it's the the Sam show and, and you've seen Sam in the comments He's on like every he comments on every single video. So super awesome friend um, The first thing here. I just want to show this to you. I guess uh, his email that he sent this in this little clip in um, Said that they had made some chocolate covered bacon and the only way his kids would try it was if they did like a YouTube challenge video so they did a quick little video of their family Trying a chocolate covered bacon. So here's Sam. Check this out. Good. I like that. Good. I prefer the chocolate. It's good. Did you say except for the chocolate? It tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. At first, it tastes like candy bar, and then it tastes like bacon. Yeah, basically, yeah. it's kind of chewy think, in the middle. Do you think you're gonna like it, or do you think you're grossed out by it? I like it. What I'm about kinda you? Kind of grossed out. It kind of tastes like. You know, like gross. The flavor gets stuck on your taste buds. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think it's pretty good. Oh, I think it's pretty good. I've it's had chocolate, and then it's kind of it, kind of got some good. chewy fat in it. it. Yeah, and I've I've had chocolate covered bacon before, and this is like the best kind I've ever had. <laughs> I know this, this is crispy bacon, just how I like it. Cool. <laughs> it's freaking adorable, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. I love it. I I love it. And chocolate covered bacon is really good. Um. And I'm, I'm not a sweets guy. Like, I don't... If somebody was like, dude, you want a piece of cake? I'm like, no, not not really. I mean, it's never been my thing to eat sugar. So, uh, chocolate-covered bacon, though. There's something about that that combination. I like chocolate-covered pretzels also. So, really just salt and chocolate. I like the combination of those two flavors. Um, but I still won't eat a ton of it just because I, I just... I'm not a sweets guy. Um, the other thing is Sam had asked a question... Uh, a couple of videos ago that uh, was simply why don't I have an accent since I talk about growing up here in this uh, um, rednecky type environment why I don't have an accent and it was a good it's a good question it really is um, and I so I thought we'd talk a little bit about that today um, I, th I mean I do have an accent we all do but you you're right. Uh, no matter where you go in this country, it's fairly neutral. Um, the, there's not, you don't have super heavy accents uh, like you think. Uh, you know, the the typical Manhattan accent, for instance, or the typical Boston accent. Yes, there are people that speak that way in those places, but they're not super normal. Like you don't just go there and that's all you hear. Uh, you're going to hear normal speaking people with the occasional like super Bostonian or whatever. Um, so I do have a little bit of an accent there and not necessarily an accent, but just the way that some words are pronounced here. And I, I thought about it over the last couple of days, like trying to give you examples and I really don't have any. Um, but just being, you know, in this region, I can hear a like a Pittsburgh accent, for instance, and immediately know that person's from Pittsburgh. Or I can hear a southern West Virginia accent and immediately know that person's from the south. Um, and so there is a, an accent that is common here, just a, a rhotic, which means like a not hard R uh, southern drawl is, is common here. It's common enough that I can transition into it and talk to you with it without really having to think about it at all. I've heard it my whole life, and so I really just know how to talk this way, but I really don't. It's just never been my way of speaking. And so, why don't I? Well, my dad was a school teacher, and he, so he, you know, he speaks educated English or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I just that I've grown up speaking this way, 
Um, and I've tried to, I will say I don't, I've never taken voice classes or anything, but I have tried to minimize the, my dad says certain words in my, both my parents, they say things like major instead of measure, which drives me freaking crazy, uh, or spatial instead of special, <laughs> like you're spatial. Like you saying I'm fat mom? That's not cool. Um, so I, I have worked on not saying those words, even though I grew up around them. And uh, but the accent part, it's just never been my thing. So um, yeah, but I can turn it on if somebody needs a rhotic voiceover, I can do it for you. Um, but that's that's really all I got today. I gotta go. My mom needs candle holders made. <laughs> candle in a wooden thing. She's well, I don't know. This is my mother's. This is, these are the types of crafts that I do for mom. So I have I have a whole box of pucks that I have to drill out for her. And grass needs cut, and kids need slapped, and they don't need slapped. I've I've never physically touched my children that way, um, but I tell them all the time. Like, I tell people all the time. I'm gonna go home and beat my kids. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's funny. Ha ha. So thanks for being here as always. Thank you for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing and making this week special. Thank you for all of the support uh, that you showed when I asked you some questions about the new format of the show and everything. I really do appreciate it. Sorry that today is a little bit spacey and that I'm not really on top of my game. But uh, we'll be back Monday with another topic that I haven't picked yet. Maybe I'll do something this weekend. I've been I've been having fun doing the Saturday things. So thank you for your support on those videos too. I've seen quite a few comments of, of friends who have watched those who said, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying the Saturday stuff. So thank you. Thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go do work now. Lots of work. And I'll see you on Monday. Hey Doc, wait, I wanna ask you something. Today's random fact comes from Britannica.com. What was Muhammad Ali's original name? I know this, but I can't recall it. I hate that. Uh, Muhammad Ali originally named Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr. I knew that, Cassius Clay. Uh, born January 17, 1942 in Louisville, Kentucky, an American professional boxer and social activist. Ali was the first fighter to win the World Heavyweight Championship on three separate occasions and successfully defended his title 19 times. I would not step in the ring with that guy. I wouldn't really step in the ring with anybody. I'm not a fighter. 